Let me show you how you stop annoying and unwanted ads using this £15 microcomputer using Pi-hole. Pi-hole is an open source network-wide ad blocker that runs on a Pi Zero 2W extremely well. Instead of blocking ads on each device, it filters them at a network level, stopping ads, trackers, malicious domains before they even load. It works by handling your DNS requests and refusing to connect to known ad servers. The results? Faster browsing, more privacy, and fewer distractions across your whole network. You might not have the need or want for a Pi 5 or something bigger to run Pi Hole on, and this is where the Pi Zero 2W comes in. It's small, it's cheap, and this coupled with the fact that Pi Hole is so lightweight it can run on a potato, they are the perfect match. You can absolutely just run this on a Pi Zero 2W in a cheap 3D printed case with a micro USB to Ethernet adapter and call it a day. But I quite like the idea of having a bit of desk art, something to look at and know that you're sticking it to the advertising companies. So I've drawn up this Infusion, and I've done a few design changes, and 3D prints, and I ended up with this iteration. It has an oversized and unnecessary heatsink, a stats display screen, because as we all know, screens are cool. And this way, you can sit it on your desk and have a visual reminder that you're winning. And if you want to know how to get an OLED screen working on your Pi Zero 2W, I will link to an excellent video done by Michael Clements down below. Now, to get the ball rolling, the first thing we've got to do is install Pi OS Lite 64-bit using Pi Imager. If this is your first time using a Raspberry Pi, Pi OS Lite is a headless operating system, so run smoother on this Pi Zero 2W, and we'll be accessing it through SSH. And next, you need to find your IP address. I like to use Advanced IP Scanner. You can find it in your router if you prefer. And then it's time to SSH into your Pi, and type yes, not y like I did. And now it's time for the two most famous commands in the Raspberry Pi world. sudo apt update, and sudo apt upgrade. This will update your Pi to make sure it's got the most up-to-date packages on it. And now, Pi-hole really needs a static IP address. I'll share the command to set a static IP address for Ethernet, and really to run Pi-hole, you should be using Ethernet. Wi-Fi for this is a bit yucky. So to set a static IP address, just change the number I'm highlighting in green for the one you want. And technically, you should reserve this IP address on your router to make sure your router doesn't book it out for anything else. And then we're going to reset the connection using this command. And you can check it worked using IP-A and IP-R. And now IP-A is not particularly useful, I find, but if you look at IP-R and you look for a proto-static on the ETH0 result, you're onto a winner and your static IP address is set. And next we go to the PyHole install website, grab the install command and paste it into your terminal. We have a little configuring to do now. Use the arrows and enter key for this, and you're ready we go. OK, OK. Continue as we already set a static IP address. We're using Ethernet because Wi-Fi is yucky for PyHole. Cloudflare. Now there is an option to change this later on using Rebound, but Cloudflare is good. Yes to Steve Black's lists. Yes to query logging. One hide domains. This will still log devices like phones, PC, TVs, etc., but it will hide the actual domain name. Then back to the normal terminal and let it do its thing. When you see done, you're done. The next page will give you your login details for Pi-hole. You'll access Pi-hole through your browser of choice, which should obviously be Firefox. But make sure you note your login details down as you'll need this to access it. And the first thing you should do is change your password. To do this, go to your terminal and type the command sudo pi-hole set password, type whatever your password is here. You'll see in mine I'm setting mine to password. And if you have pi-hole open and it's successful, it will kick you out and you'll need to log back in. And this is the clever part. You now log onto your router and set a custom DNS server in your router settings. You'll copy on your Pi static IP address that you set earlier. And now for two reasons, I cannot show you this step. The first one being that each router is going to have different options depending on who your network provider is. But somewhere in there, you'll have custom DNS settings. And the second reason is Sky my network provider, and they don't allow a static DNS. So I cannot apply Pi-hole to my whole Wi-Fi network very easily. So I have to manually set a DNS for each of my devices. Now, just to interject, before I get carried away, if your router does allow a static DNS and you've set it, you're done. Pi-hole's working, congratulations, no more ads for you. If your provider is anything like mine, you'll need to follow these next steps to get Pi-hole working on your PC. To do this, I go to Network Manager, Wi-Fi, Hardware Properties, DNS Server Assignment, Manual, IPv4 On, and this is where I type in my Pi's IP address. And I have to go a step further and turn off IPv6 as my route will still backdoor what it can through IPv6. Thanks, Sky. If you open up Pi-hole, you'll be able to watch it in action. It will show you at the top its stats of how many ads it's blocked and how many it's actively blocking currently. 
But let's take a look at before and after on a website that's known for its ads. For copyright reasons, I can't show you the whole thing, but let's say it rhymes with Whaley Trail. This is a website with no pie hole. And this is a website with pie hole. And hopefully, the six of you that have made it this far have either found it somewhat useful, or better yet, interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye.